Hi y'all, I'm Laura Coyle and today I have a tip for you on using the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. So here I have some artwork and I've been working on this and I've got this type here which is already expanded and let's zoom in here a little bit. What I want is for the white here to cross over where that blue line is. Now there's a way to set up your type like this, um, only I'm a little further down the line in my project. So I just wanna go ahead and edit this. Um, and so I'm gonna show you this in another file. Let me go over here. And here is that same type here, just sort of isolated so we can see it just by itself there. And when I select this, we can see uh, there is, you know, expanded paths there. And uh, the Shape Builder tool is the perfect tool to do this. So if I click on the Shape Builder tool right there, and you know, you can see when you hover all these different regions that you can merge together. And I'll just click and drag right through that little channel there. And it does, if we zoom in, make that all one shape, um, but it does it in this dark blue color. Now I can always go back and change that color. That's not a big deal. And that's kind of what I used to do um, because the way the Shape Builder tool works, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think what it's doing here is um, it's taking whatever the color is in the top of the stacking order or something where I mouse down or whatever, and it's applying that as I drag through there. Well, you know, so you don't fully have control over that, or sometimes you get a result that you don't want. So here's a way to take control of that color. Um, instead, let's go ahead and I'll just undo Command or Control Z. And then I'm going back over to the Shape Builder tool. And this time I'm gonna click on it, double click on it actually, to get its settings. And right here, pick color from artwork. This is very often turned on. And so it kind of does that thing. I was just saying it detects something in the artwork and gives you that color. But here I can change this to color swatches. And now I can use the swatches in my color panel just like you can do with live color. Let's give this a try. So I'll click OK. And now that I've set that up, you can see like in live color, I have uh, this little three swatch cursor here and it's corresponding to these swatches right here. This is the selected one and then there's one on either side of it. And if I use the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can kind of page through and choose a color like that. So I'm going back to this kind of light uh, pinkish cream color there. And now I can merge shapes while using that color instead of kind of using whatever Illustrator gives me. So now this is a lot faster and less confusing for me to go through here and make these edits. And there's even more over here that I can do like that. All right, so I could spend a lot of time working on that, but I just wanted to show you, first of all, that that's an option that you have when you double click here on the Shape Builder tool. And then also um, kind of as a finishing touch here, maybe what I wanna do is I've got all of these little shapes and looks like there's a, a bit of a gap there. Let me see if I can kind of close that up with an anchor uh, point move there. Um, but you see there's a lot of you know little shapes that you can work with the Shape Builder tool to roll over all of these and merge them into a single shape. But there's a faster way to do this. Just use the merge uh, function in the Pathfinder. So let me back out so you can see this art here. And then I'll go to the Pathfinder and click on this one right here, Merge. And now we can see all of those shapes in there are united. So mer what Merge does is it unites shapes based on their color. So anything that is this blue color is just gonna be merged with anything else that's blue. And then the same for this light pink and this orange as well. All right, so that's a little tip for using the Shape Builder tool and a little bit of the Pathfinder. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Laura Coyle, and I teach Adobe Illustrator online on my own community, and you can find out more about it by going to lauracoylecreative.com. And please subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to learn. All right, thanks for watching.